Good morning. I am doing a short day in the life um, because I wanted to share um, what we're doing this year for Christmas. We are not doing our normal big gifts, you know, for everybody and their mama <laughs> type of Christmas. We are doing a really low key Christmas, even even um, the gifts that we're giving out at church, um, we're getting creative with this year. Um, and so uh, today, it is, let's see, it is the 21st, um, it's only a few days until Christmas. Uh, we do have service on Christmas Day, and so uh, that's usually when we give out cards and give out gifts to our church members. We don't have a large congregation, so it's a little easier than if, you know, we were a church of 100 and 200 or 1,000 or whatever. Um, so... We were trying to figure out what we were going to do for gifts this year. Uh, and... We think we came up with a plan. At least I hope we have. Um, today is also filming day because Marcus is at the doctor's office. And so I'm going to do two videos on my Disney channel. Um, for the end of the year and I think I'm gonna put this video up on my uh, lifestyle channel so I'm about to go check the mail and then I'm gonna kind of show you what we're gonna do um, this year for Christmas um, like with the kids and with some of the church members and then even some of our leadership team um, I do have to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. I'm really excited about Christmas at my mom's house. And so I'm gonna share like kinda what the plans are for that day. Um, but like I say, it's not gonna be a really long video um, because uh, right now there's not really a lot going on. <laughs> Christmas this year is really, really low key. And so, um, uh, yeah. So let's go to the mailbox. It's a beautiful day today, but it is only 41 degrees outside. Yeah, um, it's about, I think it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Might even be two, it might even be two o'clock by this point. No, it's 110. Um, the mailman should have been here by now, but we'll see. I'm going to, I always say, <laughs> This is my exercise because it takes a minute to get to my um, driveway is really long. It takes a minute to get to my mailbox. Um, if my neighbor looked out the window right now, they'd be like, what the world is she doing? But I'm going to check the mail and then I'm going to show you what we're giving out for Christmas this year. So I'll be right back. My mailbox top just went down for the third time. As soon as I think I got it to stay up. The little clip thing, one of the mailmen broke it a long time ago. So I put like a hair tie on it. Maybe it'll stay this time. Yeah, so he broke the clip. So it sometimes will stay closed and sometimes it won't and today for whatever reason maybe because it's so cold outside it will not stay in place so it actually feels pretty good out here so maybe I will sit on my porch and talk to you guys for a minute while I sort through my mail I miss putting uh, Christmas lights and things out on my front porch. I do need to take my pumpkins. Easy. I do need to put my pumpkins away. We used to decorate outside like crazy. My husband even at one time used to have 
like lights um, that blinked and there was music playing. We don't know what happened to the music box that we used to have on the front porch. It just kind of disappeared. But um, of course he cannot get on a ladder anymore. Um, and where we store like the trees and the lights um, in our backyard in a storage thing, it's just too much for him. And I didn't really want to bother anybody this year to put it up. But I do think next year I'm going to find someone to help me put some stuff up because it's kind of depressing that there's no Christmas lights up. I don't even have a wreath on the door, guys. I think I am going to remedy that today. Um, yeah. I've just not been feeling Christmas this year. So what I'm trying to do is concentrate on other people. So, um, we are going home to my mom's. A bird just came up on the ramp. We're going to my mom's for Christmas after Christmas morning service at church. And this is the first year where we're all trying to think of some new things to do um, instead of just kind of sitting around. So my mom has got this game plan, which I plan to record some of this because it should be hilarious because we are not the family that plays games at Christmas on Christmas Day. <laughs> So she's got this game that they did at church that she wants us to now do. Um, my oldest daughter originally was gonna be out of town for Christmas, but the weather, the weekend of Christmas, it's supposed to be really bad. She was supposed to be going to Chicago and it's supposed to be like really, really bad. So she got a notice from the airport that, you know, the um, they would change her flight um, for free because the weather's gonna be so bad in Chicago. Like if Chicago is saying it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad because they usually can handle snow. Um, here in Virginia, we don't do so well at handling snow, but they're pretty good at it. So she changed her plans. So she's gonna be home for Christmas now. Um, my son never really gets to spend Christmas day with us because he always works so that people with families can, um, you know, be off Christmas Eve. So he usually comes home and goes to bed on Christmas day. So I think, even though he's not gonna let me film him, I think what I'm gonna do is open gifts with him before I leave to go to my mom's for Christmas day. And then, um, so we've been having this um, uh, group chat about what we're gonna cook for Christmas day dinner. Because I'm gonna be coming directly from church and by the time we get there, it's gonna be almost time for dinner. I'm going to be doing instant pot mashed potatoes because it only takes a few minutes in the instant pot to make them. And then I'm going to use like a hand blender and blend them up. Um, and then I'm doing the string beans, which that because I usually steam them or like um, lightly saute them on lightly saute them lightly saute them on the stovetop. So that is the plan. So as soon as I get to my mom's house, I'll hit the ground running fixing that. Um, my youngest daughter is bringing macaroni and cheese. My mom is providing the turkey. My sister is doing the cake. Um, my sister's boyfriend always does like a salad. I don't know if he's doing something different this year. His mom is doing a, she usually does a pie. Now she does something different this year. I'm not, you know, I won't, we won't know until we get there. And then, I think my mom is doing one other thing, but I don't know what that is. I have to check with her because I don't think we have bread on the list. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing for Christmas Day. Um, Sunday morning, we'll get up, we'll go to church. Um, and then after church, we'll exchange gifts with people at church give out Christmas cards and then hit the road for the country which I'm hoping it won't be bad because I'm hoping by that point everybody else will be home you know one can hope so so this year um, my husband went out a couple of weeks ago and got um, a bunch of treats 
um and so that's what everyone is getting this year they're getting christmas trees by the time you see this video christmas will be over so they will have already seen i'm trying to figure out why this bird is looking at me they will already have seen um the uh what they were getting for christmas the only difference is um for my mom and for the twins i got my mom which i can say because she doesn't watch my videos i got my mom a um oh gosh what's the thing i think i said this already in a video but i got my mom the um echo show so that um we can talk with her on my echo show and she can talk to my aunt who has an echo show which is her sister-in-law who was my uncle who passed away's wife um and i i just think it's so neat that i can call my aunt up as a matter of fact i remember to call her tomorrow uh, that i can call her up and then just see how she's doing in person and not just talk to her on the phone sometimes i just call her on the phone but sometimes i want to see her face just to see you know how she's really doing um and so i am going to show you that it's most of the items are on the floor in my foyer because um some of it is chocolate and i wanted it near the front door instead of in my kitchen so that it wouldn't get too hot and start to melt because one year my this is my husband's favorite chocolate and one year he bought like a whole case of it well not a case they come three in a package and he bought some and he kept one he was keeping one for himself and he opened it up and it was completely melted inside now it wasn't us it was already melted at the store so he had to take it back but i'm just so afraid that if i take keep them in my kitchen they're gonna melt um so some people in leadership will get that and then um uh other church members and children will get like sweet treats in a tree bag which is why i have to go to the dollar tree because i need to get either some tins because he brought some brownie bites too so some people will get tins with brownie bites in them and then some people will get cookies and some people and then kids will get lollipops and so i've got to go um to dollar tree and get, hopefully there's still some christmas stuff at the dollar tree i have not been i haven't had to go out and shop this year and so what I did, like, I got everything off of Amazon that I was going to order. And then everything else, I, um, Marcus picked up himself. Um, so, yeah. When he comes back from his hospital, I mean, when he comes back from his doctor's visit, we're going to go to the Dollar Tree. But first we need to eat lunch, which means I need to figure out what we're going to eat for lunch. He might be eating soup because I'm trying to think, did I eat this morning? Guys, I don't know if I'm coming or going today. Um, like I said, it, it's filming day. So I've been trying to get stuff together for that. I've been trying to make sure I have checked off all I need for Christmas things so that i can get those i need to be wrapping those today i hate wrapping last minute so i don't want to wait until the weekend to wrap because i want to have stuff ready to pack up and put in the car so i really need to get on that um so yeah that's all i can think of to share with you guys so i'm going to check this mail and then i'm going to kind of sort the christmas stuff that's left because i did <laughs> i'm very smart we went last weekend to visit my mom to help her babysit the little girls Woo, they can wear you out. Anyway, uh, when we went to see them that weekend, I took our family's Christmas gifts 
home then to my mom's house because I was like, the less I have to carry, the better. So I wrapped their stuff up in um, Christmas bags, but I still have to do a couple of other people, the neighbors coming out. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute. So this is one of the things that I'll be putting together. Uh, Marcus got a bunch of cookies from Sam's Club. They're like variety. I think these are like raisin. These are like sugar cookies, chocolate chip. And then these are, you know, the chocolate chip with the um, M&Ms in them. So these are going to go in little um, gift bags. I'm sitting in my foyer because I left the candy, chocolate candy, out here because I it's a little cooler here by the front door. And I do not want this candy to melt before we can get them to people. So let me show you the candy. Okay, so these are chocolate truffles. These are my husband's favorite candy. I am not a big chocolate person or a big candy person. But um, I've had these a couple of times and they are really good. They're truffles, cold, cold, cocoa dusted truffles. Um, they come in a package of three. I don't have a clue how much they cost because like I said, he picked all this stuff up. My husband is Santa Claus. This is his favorite time of the year and he usually does the shopping for church. So anyway, um, leadership members will get one of these um, boxes of chocolate truffles. Um, the cookies that I just showed you, um, some other church members would get those like in a um, Christmas bag. And then we have candy that's going in a bag for the children that are going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be a sweet tooth type of Christmas. <laughs> My husband loves giving candy to children yeah and then there's one more thing um that'll go in bags that some people like we're gonna mix and match some people will get cookies some people will get the truffles those that are in leadership will get the truffles and then some people will get these little brownie bites so they are in the refrigerator because i was really concerned that they might melt so i stuck them in the refrigerator so hold on okay so these are two bite brownies and so he got two cases of these and so we're going to be splitting some of them up and putting those i think he's going to get like uh little tins to put these in so some people get some brownie bites okay and then family members are getting kind of the same thing so they each get a box of the truffles um I can say this now, I sent a care package to my friend Jen from uh, Jen LaForge and, and she got these. I'm hoping that she likes them. Uh, family members also, boys get Suave Men Body Wash. Girls get Suave Body Wash. Um, they also get a bag of chips. Like this was my husband's idea not mine and then he also gave out fever tree ginger beer um he got like cases of this and each person gets uh one of these and then like i said they get chips too um that's not actually his favorite ginger beer um his favorite ginger beer is actually made by um my son-in-law's dad and my son-in-law has started making ginger beer if you've i'm trying to think well you have seen you might not have yeah by the time you see this you will have seen our thanksgiving um video and so they um him and my daughter brought ginger beer uh to thanksgiving I don't know if he's bringing it for Christmas this year. Yeah. Byron, are you bringing us ginger beer for Christmas? But, um, so my husband had found this because um, at the time I think he couldn't find one of his favorite ones that he buys from the store. But I do have some of those in the refrigerator and I'll show you those. Those are really good. Um, not as good as the homemade one, 
but fairly close. So let me show you those. So his favorite store-bought ginger beer is called by Gosling's um, since 1806. Stormy ginger beer, non-alcoholic soft drink with a refreshing zip of ginger. It's a 12 ounce can and it comes in a case of six. And now yeah, this is his favorite one to buy, but um, he brought the bottle ones to give out at Christmas time. So yeah, I have to also print out some greeting letters for at church. And then um, I have to get, um, I don't know why I'm shaking. I probably because I need to eat something. I have to get some, um, um, I need to get my crate together so that Christmas morning I can take all of those things um, to church with us. I also have to pack our suitcases and stuff for the trip to my mom's house for Christmas. Yeah, I got a lot to do. I gotta do my hair. I gotta figure out what I'm wearing Christmas day. Cause I wanna be comfortable because as soon as I, like I said, as soon as I get to my mom's house, I'm gonna be hitting the ground running to try to uh, cook my mashed potatoes and my string beans. So, I need to do a little organization and do some printing out and I'll get back with you. So, we just got back from the Dollar Tree. Um, oh, there's way too many people. This tells me that I don't go anywhere, at least not in the stores, um, because it was just too many people. It was overwhelming. I was like, I can't wait to get out of there. I was sweating. But, um, so, they didn't have the things that I wanted, so I got some substitutes. So, I'm going to show you what I got. So, this is the crate that I'm going to be taking all the stuff in. I've already got some of the candy in it. They didn't have like Christmas bows, but sometimes they come off. So I'm not really worried so much about that. Um, they didn't have the like the little regular Christmas bags. So um, Marcus found like these little treat bags like for a party. So I'm going to use these with some Christmas stickers. They did have, what is this, a hundred and a oh, hundred pieces. So they've got these. I want to stick these on the treat bags and put the cookies and the candy for the kids in that. And then we got these little tins that have little tops. There's three for $1.25. So on the top of the tops, I'm going to put some stickers um, for the brownies. And then I got a couple of trays. Got two of these type of trays. Um, for $1.25 and I'm going to then when I get to church I'm going to place the cookies and the candy treats on these trays um, so people can just come by and pick up one and then I did get a couple of cards <sighs> I didn't know this was going to into a dollar, dollar Tree haul I got some peppermints I'm hoping this is enough we're doing a um oh gosh what is it called we're doing a um chocolate bar at my mom's for christmas and my daughter needed some peppermint because she was looking for the ones already crushed up but we're going to take these and crush them ourselves to put in our hot chocolate and is that all i got hold on let me check um they had a ton of christmas bags um this is a good place to get christmas bags at the dollar tree they're a dollar 25 now but i got this one and then i got that one i needed one to put my son's christmas gift in and then i also got a packet of plain white tissue paper um for gifts so all of my cards just fell on the floor so i'm gonna pick them up and then i'm gonna close this out i told you guys it wasn't gonna be a long one and probably tomorrow what's tomorrow today is wednesday probably saturday i will put all of the things into their little tins or their little bags to be ready for sunday because i've also got to get my clothes and stuff packed oh, that's the day in my life um, I didn't get a chance to put my reef up. I guess, I guess I'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, 
but this was just you know just kind of sharing what a day in my life was like marcus came home from his appointment and i didn't have to cook because he brought home some sandwiches so we ate those and then we went out to the dollar tree and it's early but it's getting dark it's like 4 30 maybe it's 5 20 it's 5 20. um yeah and i'm pooped because i had been awake since 4 30 this morning so i'm gonna call it a night i'm not going to bed but i'm gonna call it a night i think i'm gonna read a book put my feet up um i talked to my sister or my sister and i talk almost every day so i talked to my sister my nephew is in town he's in the military but he's home for christmas i can't wait to see him um talk back and forth with my um oldest daughter my mom while we were planning stuff for christmas not sure what's going on with the hair today yeah but um yeah so guys you know the drill if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and if you'd like to know when the next video will go up all you have to do is hit let hit that little notification bell below so until i see you the next time have a blessed day